Hello, I'm Tom Aoki, Sales Manager with Minty Technologies. Today we're going to do a quick demonstration of the capabilities of the ECU2, the Environmental Containment Unit, second generation product for Minty Technologies Incorporated, a Los Angeles company. As you can see, the footprint of the unit is very small. When it's physically uh, stored, it's stored in this canvas bag to protect it from any dust or the elements inside of a hospital. It takes a footprint of approximately six feet tall uh, by about two feet wide by about 18 inches wide. And in that footprint, it will store very easily in any closet or any facilities department, wherever they would like to be held for storage. Once deployed, it will be basically taken to the area where it's going to be used. The unit itself is the pouch, which contains two top pieces for the unit and I'll deploy the unit in just a few minutes. Once out of the canvas bag, the unit itself is held in by a, a, a belt which collapses the frame tighter than it would be without the belt. The unit itself is easily deployed with one person or two persons doing the work and as such the unit has support trusses on the bottom on the short side of the rectangle that allow it to take its shape in this direction and then following on this side and on the back side there are two long support trusses that snap into place with push a firm push down on a center push plate <clears throat> and allow the unit to take its normal shape now in this direction the unit only has to be uh, have an envelope attached we've started to assemble the envelope attachment to the frame itself and then the unit itself has to be locked in at a certain height once having done that on all four corners, I'll deploy the rest of the envelope. In all four cases, the unit itself locks in at a certain height with a distinctive click. And in each case, the click is loud enough to be heard audibly so that you know that you're locked in place. Now, in this concurrent configuration, the unit itself has got a footprint of 60 inches wide by approximately 34 inches. So it's a true rectangle and it's taking its shape. It will always maintain this shape as long as these pins are locked in at the height that there are. The top pieces that were held in the pouch of the canvas bag fit on the only way they can assemble themselves to the unit itself. One side fits in, followed by the other. And once put in place, each of the side pieces swing over on a swivel gate and lock themselves in to each corner. Once the second of the two corner pieces are snapped and held in with a latch, the unit permanently is installed and awaiting the future deployment of the envelope itself. Now the envelope itself has a certain number of uh, notches or straps that can be held up above this point. Typically in an eight foot drop ceiling where we are today in this hospital, we typically will put four of these straps above this line here. We can make adjustments as needed to put more straps above this to lift the canvas up of the envelope off the floor if we're going up high. And if we don't go up quite as high, we'll drop these down below and reduce the height of the, of the envelope down lower to the floor. The frame itself can be extended to a height maximally of 10 feet 6 inches. And in so doing, uh, it can reach anything from this point where it's at now, at this height, which is approximately 5 feet 11 inches, all the way high up to a height of 10 feet 6. And it can go up in 3 quarter inch increments all the way up to the top height of its reach. Now once the envelope is it itself, the straps are connected, we will take the top piece of the envelope, which is a liner of, of Velcro stitched into the top, and we'll start connecting them to the frame itself. Now this top piece frame here will allow any of the top piece of the envelope from ever having any type of debris or dust coming from within a ceiling tile envelope when we access the ceiling cavity from dropping in to the envelope and getting outside of the envelope frame itself. So in each case, the Velcro 
will hold up the envelope and create a top seal on the very top of the unit. And the last piece is up front. And the Velcro will hold at a very high tension and keep the unit deployed. Now at this point, the rest of the envelope can be straightened and attached with additional straps to the support frames on each side. And while I do this, I'm taking pains to make sure that I don't tighten the straps too tight because tightening it too tight on one side will mean I'll have not as much material to, to strap on to the other side. So we do it fairly loosely and we can make final adjustments later when the envelope is, is totally set up. The ECU2 frame, the top piece, has a foam piece that adheses on to the top and allows it to be gently placed up against the top of a ceiling. In this particular setting, we've got an eight foot drop ceiling and the, the, the one and three quarter inch high foam itself will come into play when we start pushing the top of the frame up against the ceiling. Now right now, after adding this top piece adhesive foam, I'm going to position the unit so that it's close to the uh, abil centered up to the point where I can start pushing the frame up and getting it up to the top of the ceiling to allow me to access this two foot by four foot ceiling tile. 